There are many functions available on this particular safe lock, the ProLogic L01. I wanted to just take you through a walk through the menu system so that you can see other functions that are available, and I'll briefly explain those for you. So in order to get into the system menu again, press menu, scroll down to system menu, press OK. Now enter super code or manager code. We'll go ahead and enter the super code. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now we're inside the system menu. You can scroll down, you see change code, we've covered that one. System information, if I press OK here, it allows me to see the firmware version, the number of users installed, and the device ID. It also shows me the, the model on the top, and then link with lock OK means that it's communicating correctly with the lock inside, and it sees the lock inside. Now, a couple of other things we'll go through. System info, obfuscate code entry. This is, um, instead of when I enter my code and I enter the number, it doesn't show the number on the screen, it shows a star. That's what obfuscate code entry means. Delete all users we've covered. Recover system, we'll show you in another video. That'll be to recover the entire system back to factory default. Encryption key set has to do with the recovery, but again, you don't change it and Liberty doesn't change this one. Cycle testing is very unique to SecureM systems. As you may know, Every SecureM lock is cycle tested 2,000 times at the factory. This is a method for you to do cycle testing and test a lock. For instance, if you had a lock that you didn't think was in good shape, it's been brought back from the field somewhere and they thought it was intermittent, you could press OK here. Now you'd enter the manufacturer's code, 975246. What this is going to do is begin cycling, as you can see. It'll continue to cycle as long as it has power. And it counts the number of good cycles, and it counts the number of bad cycles. So if you feel that a lock is perhaps not performing at its best, you can always connect it to a ProLogic L01 and run cycle testing on it. If you left a good battery in this keypad and cycle tested it all night until it depleted the battery, you'd have somewhere around 12,000 cycles and it would tell you how many cycles were good and how many cycles were bad. It's a unique function of the SecureM ProLogic system. In order to stop the cycle, you can press and hold back. And it goes back to the Select Menu system. So let's carry on through our system here in order to show we covered cycle testing. Disable user. This is a function that allows you to disable the user code of ID02 if you wanted to. The next function is to enable it. It's not deleting it, but you can disable it and then at a later time, it's still in the memory but not available, you could then enable it if you chose to. Delete one user, we've covered that. And enroll new user. And you'll see that this menu is uh, circular. It goes around and back again. So if I press down, I go to change code. That's the first menu selection I have when I enter the programming menu. When I enter the programming menu, if I press up, I go to enroll new user. We've done that purposely because those are the functions you'll use the most. So rather than having to scroll through the entire menu, just press down to go to the change code or up to go to enroll new user. So that's a walk through the uh, system menu of the ProLogic L01.